of your time in terms of product demonstration, but would love to understand if you guys have any question, feel free to put on chat. Last 10 minutes will be dedicated for that. So yeah, I'm just sharing now. Great. So there you go. I'll first cover uh, one of the brands which work with us. It's a skincare brand, Michelle Brands. Why I'm covering this brand in particular is they have been my personal favorite because they onboarded us when Manifest was launched eight months back. You know, it was the first few brands who trusted, you know, have that leap of faith on us and are live with us today. Uh, if we talk about numbers before I represent this lady that you see on uh, here, on the right hand side is Manifest AI. Don't worry about that's the only kind of placement that you have for IE Assistant. I have a bunch of other options that you are going to see during our webinar. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. So yeah, this is the brand, skincare brand. They sell products like brightening cream, uh, serums, you know, other things as well. Uh, uh, but you know, like if you see the questions that it has on top of screen, what are the benefits of fair and white? So white skin perfecter serum, can you recommend a lightning body lotion for me? Where is my order? The reason of AI throwing up these three particular questions is it understood in last eight months that these are the either question which are leading to higher conversion rates or these are the questions which people usually come and ask to their support agent. So that is the reason of AI having this here. Let me go with this question. Can you recommend a lightning body lotion for me? And as brand owners, you can always customize this question, not necessarily you go with AI's input. If you want to do that, that's also doable. So it re you know, replies with a text, which usually is the case when a human replies. And then in the end, it throws up certain products. Here, when the product comes in, you have multiple options. You know, uh, As a consumer, they can either click on question mark, which will enable people asking further questions around this product, which is Tomatine Lightning Body Lotion. Or let's say if I was interested in this product, but I want to see furthermore, I can click on similar to and view it, or I can literally go to view product link and you know just make a purchase. Beyond this, one thing that you must have seen, usually AI chatbots, when you ask a question, they ask you a follow-up question. The beauty of having AI assistant is it understood from its past data that you know, when you have a answer, a recommendation without even asking a follow-up question, the drop-offs are much, much lower. Give out the most probable answer and then maybe ask the question. So if you see it gave out a probable recommendation and then it said, okay, maybe if you ask uh, me to show more products, I'm happy to do that. Or if you want to browse desert by collection, I'm happy to do that. Or this is something which we have built, you know, very, very recently. Let us play a quiz. What happens here is now I understand the context of this customer, which is it's a lightning body lotion is something, you know, this person is, uh, you know, interested in. So if I click on let us play a quiz, it's a real time quiz that gets generated basis the question asked. So it will just start asking me certain question and then recommend a product. So this is the basic fundamental of how Manifest AI works. It can do wonders depending upon the customer journey. If you are on a product page, it will have different set of question, different set of nudges, et cetera, et cetera. So this is how it works. Before I take a pause, I'll quickly also showcase you how, one minute. So I am on the dashboard of Manifest AI. This is a brand Riley Watson Jewelry, a brand that has been live with us for last four to five months now. This is how it looks. It's like a 100K a monthly session brand uh, doing very decent revenues. So if we see, you know, like the th last 30 days of data, uh, let us load it. Yeah. So around close to about $4,000 was the AI contribution. So now imagine, you know, there is a scope of revenue which wasn't even into existence for your brand will now come into existence when you put AI. So that is how wonderfully it works. And you might think that, you know, like these consumers already have high intent. That's why they're coming and asking questions. But shortly, I'm going to show you there are 
very beautiful entry points that a brand puts and forces a customer or consumer to have conversation, which leads them to change their mindset towards making a purchase, even if they are there just to explore your brand. So $4,000 for 141 uh, orders. If you see conversion rates, when they interact with AI, it's 8.6%. Conversion rates, when they do not interact with AI, it's 1.8%. So it becomes, you know, no brainer to just in, keep increasing your entry points as much as possible. Average order value, not much significant difference in this case, but there are multiple brands where we have seen 4x, 5x of average order values. Add to cart, like there was $11,000 of carts created through AI, 441 total cards created. And if you see add to cart rate, it's almost 4x. It was 7% without AI it's 26% with AI. So this is the impact it creates. We can go on further depth in our demonstration call if you are really interested, but I'll just skip the analytics for now and quickly jump into a few entry points that we give. So not only you can have chatbot as like, you know, that bottom icon, which looks like a support chat, the world has changed. You need to communicate that to your consumers as well. And the best way to communicate is to be as straightforward as possible. So you can put a button like summarize review. Or you can put a button ask AI about ingredients. You can also deploy a full-fledged AI shopping page uh, using this deck. You can put an out of stock AI button. You can also deploy an AI, which is find your right size. So there are multiple use cases that we can deploy. And with this, we also come up with a personalized, like we have a team that gives you a super, uh, you know, personalized hand holding while training the AI. Basic AI training happens via your Shopify sync. You don't have to do anything additional. But beyond that, there could be certain questions, limitations that you see during testing the AI. That's when, you know, like we uh, help you out and we take AI live during the pilot phase. We make sure AI is delivering revenue to you. And that's when, you know, we uh, make AI, you know, like we leave everything on AI. But before that, we keep training AI in a way that uh, you always feel that there's a value that's being delivered day over day. So, yeah, I think I'll... Uh, uh, take a pause here. I have covered the, you know, higher level things of what Manifest AI does. There are a whole lot of things like training the AI. You can improve responses. There is a testing playground that we have deployed. There are multiple models that you can choose from. You can test AI on the your choice of tonality. So for example, in the custom tonality, if you want to put, let's say, uh, Donald Trump's, uh, uh, you know, tonality, that's also doable. So depending upon your campaign to campaign, if you have a celebrity doing your campaign for some time, you can put their tonality as well into the AI assistant. And AI assistant works in all languages of the world. So you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, if it will be able to serve purposes to all your customers. And AI integrates with Clayview, Omnisend, uh, gorgeous, Zendesk. So if you want to, let's say, uh, send certain information, for example, I was super interested in lightning body lotion that will be sent as an event to your marketing tool and you can create your own segments and send out a flow or an email to those customers. So I'll take a pause here. Any question, guys, please feel free to put that on the chat box. We'll cover them towards the later half of the webinar. And from my side, you have 5,000 uh, free uh, AI credits to test out the solution. If you see a word, that's when you continue. But now over to you, Ayush, to cover Instagram AI. Awesome. Thanks, Anakshi. This is amazing. The things AI has been able to do on Shopify. And what I'm uh, supposed to present here, I, I believe everyone would have uh, liked this thing as well. So what I want to show you guys is what AI has been able to do on Instagram. And and the idea is uh, currently, uh, let, let's talk about the current statement, uh, current state of engagement on Instagram. Uh, brands gets discovered on Instagram, but purchase happens uh, sorry, on, on Shopify. The entire experience from your Instagram to Shopify is highly broken. Shopify does not allow you to have clickable links, making it super difficult for even the interested customers to make it and go ahead and move to uh, move to make the purchase, right? And ideally, you, you, as a brand, if you have millions of followers, there's rarely 5% or maybe 2% of the followers who are actually engaging with you, right? And in this case, all the efforts that you put in, the social media effort that you put in is goes in waste, right? You do not have the leads. Anyone who engages, you do not capture their leads, right? What if, uh, and, and lastly, with the US section, sanctions on TikTok, Instagram becomes even more important medium uh, for brands to, to drive higher ROIs, right? 
So what I'm going to show is how AI can be an autopilot for your engagements, all sort of engagements, be it DM, be it comment, be it giveaways, to instantly and automatically uh, take charge of the engagements, take care of uh, the support, the recommendations, the uh, engagement on your activities, uh, which you're currently, uh, which currently your users are doing. Uh, this is what uh, we have built so far. Let me quickly present my screen. I hope this is visible. Cool. So uh, quickly covering on, uh, why do we even need something like Instagram AI automation? Like I talked about, the shopping experience on, on Instagram is highly broken. You do not get any clickable links. The links that you have is only in the bio that only opens in a separate IG browser, making it super difficult for people to make the purchase. Secondly, the customer acquisition cost has been ever increasing with the changing iOS policy, the increased competitions, making it more and more tough for brand to drive the ROAS. Thirdly, you need a human support to handle all of these queries. They are available in limited shifts. Customers who are engaging with you beyond the shifts are kind of dropped off. Lastly, if customers are not engaged instantly, there are high chances that it leads to uh, that, that they are uh, engaged and leading to poor customer experience. So all in all, these are the uh, overall problems which you as a brand would be facing, which is where Instagram AI comes into play. So we have developed this solution. This is powered by Meta APIs. We are an official BSP partners of Meta. That's how we got the API access. And what we have built is workflow automations uh, that works uh, in combination with AI, which is ChatGPT. Uh, it works in deep integration with your Shopify and Instagram. So how it looks like is uh, the AI gets automatically trained on the Shopify. Like you have seen for Manifest, it gets trained on the entire Shopify website data, the about us section, the product descriptions, the, the contact us details, shipping details, all of these data is being automatically scraped and read by AI and it automatically generates the responses basis there. So uh, I'll, I'll show you a few examples, live examples on how things work. It works on all sort of engagement, be it someone commenting on a post, be it someone commenting on a DM, be it someone sending you, a, uh, sorry, be it someone commenting on a giveaway post, commenting on maybe a story reply, or maybe mentions you in a story, sends you a DM. So all sort of engagements you can think of on Instagram can be automatically engaged with AI. Uh, what I would do, I'll join from my phone and show you some live examples on how things work. Awesome. So I'm sharing my mobile screen. I hope you can see it. So we are on Tina Davis. Tina Davis is one of our brand who recently went live and what they do, they are into cosmetic business. Uh, they have somewhere around 200K of following. And what we built for them is one thing, which is automation on comments, making it super easy for, uh, for people to find product directly in their DMs. Let's say this is a product and what they have put up is a uh, comment interested to find the product in your DMs, right? Currently, if I'm supposed to find the product, I'll have to go to the link in the bio, which idly has, has got lost. Since this is a uh, this is an older post, you cannot find the post again. Now, let's say I comment interested, what it would do. First of all, it is encouraging the customers to make more and more comments, making it a popular among Instagram. So making it uh, making the Instagram algorithm learn that this is something which is being commented by a lot of people and and then boosting the post. Now, uh, idly in a couple of seconds, I have received the response. Uh, this is what I have received, which is the product link directly in my DM. Hey, welcome to Tina Davis. Here is the details of the product I inquired about. Now I can view the product. You see the product image, the description, the pricing, all of this is directly fetched from the Shopify product page. If I click on view product, I directly land on the product page. So the AI has automatically mapped the caption uh, with the product, right? So now I have directly landed on this page. I can make this purchase super quick and easy as well as now I'm lying on the DM of the customer forever. Now there are additional option which you can put up. Maybe I want to have subscription button enabled as well, which is where I want to capture the leads of high intent users. Awesome. Get uh, get added to our VIP subscriber list and get the latest updates on releases. Let me share my name. My name is Ayush. So basically what we are doing is capturing leads whom we can later target. These are high intent leads since they have added, uh, they have asked themselves to get subscribed. 
Now this lead is captured. What I can take is uh, this lead gets entered in my uh, uh, Google Sheet. Now I can take a dump of the Google Sheet and then run the campaign on my marketing uh, tool. So this is one example on how we automate uh, comment automations. First one was uh, someone who wants to directly receive the link in the DMs. Now let's say we are running some giveaway campaigns and giveaway campaigns can have a quiz, can have multiple things. For example, this was tag 45. This is a product which is now back in stock and they're running a giveaway. The giveaway says comment 45 to receive a direct 45 30% off in the product and if i comment 45 i previously there would have be an agent who would respond manually to these queries they it won't be an instant thing that would happen and what should happen here is uh instantly in a couple of seconds i should be receiving a reply a dm i have received the dm hi erratic siblings is the username that i have Thank you for participating. Congratulations. You are just one step away from availing 30% off on the TAC45 product. What's my name? So this is Ayush. Again, I'm just putting in my details. You can configure the flow on what all you want to capture, be it phone number, be it just the email address. You can configure the flows. The data gets captured. Now, basis the entry, I have received a coupon code. This coupon code can be a static one, can be a dynamic one. It will be automatically generated from Shopify for every user. Now, as we see before, I can go ahead and shop now, apply the coupon code and make the purchase. All of these gets attributed on the big dashboard. So you can check the number of sales generated from these automations as well. So this was again, one more example on, on comment automation. Let's, let's see, uh, let's see how things work on DMs. Cool. So here I am on the DMs and maybe I I want to ask, I want to ask, uh, do you offer refund? So idea is we also want to solve customer support queries. So what it does it, it will scan through the entire website, the about us section, the FAQ section and return me the best matching, uh, answer to this question. So yes, we do offer a refund. These are the details of our refund policies. The details have been fetched directly from the Shopify website. The AI has picked the information and has fetched the information. Now let me ask, where all do you ship? So in this case, it will go to my shipping policy details where I've mentioned all the shipping details. And if it is not available, it will return me the value. Hey, I could not find the details. Maybe you would want to connect with the support agent. Now let's say I want to know, do you ship to London? So this has returned me the value as we ship the products from a warehouse located in so-and-so locations. I'm not sure if London is part of it. Let me check. Awesome. So yes, they do ship in London. And if I'm supposed to purchase, I can go to the UK.ira Davis website. Cool. Now another set of queries, which is very common, uh, which your support agents would be answering would be maybe I want to track my order. Where is my order? So this is a free flow conversation, which is happening, which is a very human like conversation, which the chat GP, the AI bot is doing, uh, with, with your customers. Now I can add my details. So this is a test number and it should fetch the details related to my Shopify. It has gone through my Shopify, checked through the order ID, matching these details and return me the value. This is the order ID. These are the tracking numbers. I can go ahead and fetch more details on this tracking number. Cool. So. Uh, ideally, it returns everything that you want to ask it, be it support queries, be it product recommendations, you can, uh, what you want to, making it super easy for you to have 10x engagement. Currently, we are only engaging with people who have very high intent, making it difficult for the users who are kind of warm leads to engage. Maybe someone who comments just, hey, that's super, that's that's fire. Why don't we, where, why can't we let AI to answer these queries? Hey, awesome, thank you for your warm words. Maybe you would like to check out the latest collections. So all of these engagements can be multiplied and made 10x times better with the power of AI. Let me show you on the backend side of things, how uh, the entire mapping and the training happens.
And guys, feel free to post any question that you have. Yeah, Yush, there is one question. Where does the data get captured to? Yes, so yes. Let me anyway, covering the dashboard. So maybe. yes, yes. Let me show you. So where the data has been stored. So we have linked the data to a Google Sheet. This is the Google Sheet that we stored. So this is the entry. I have made multiple entries. So this is the last. So this is the last response that we received now. Uh, it's the current time here in India. And this is where it gets stored. Now you can take a dump of it and now upload it in your CRM or whichever marketing tool you're using and run the campaigns to these captured leads. It has automatically picked my username. I have not entered my username. It has picked the other details that I have manually entered. So this is how the details gets captured. Uh, now moving back on how things work. This is the dashboard that you get on Big. And here we have Big AI where you can train the bot. So this is the training section. And in the training section, you have multiple options. By default, it fetches all the details directly from your Shopify, the privacy policy, about us section, all of these things. You can add custom files. Let's say I do not have a refund policy or the refund policy that I have uh, added has kind of uh, is being absolute absolute. I want to add an updated one. I can add a PDF file as well. So the AI bot will pick the latest data and we can have intent mapping done here as well. So uh, this is how the entire backend things work. We help you customize and build these kind of flows. So this is where the training of bot happens. You can uh, pick the kind of tonality which the bot would answer in. It would mean the same thing, but depending on the brand tonality, you can choose and, and select what kind of responses you want to give uh, from the AI bot on Instagram. And I was showing you around one thing, which was automation where we directly uh, give back the product details. So this is uh, the comment automation where we directly display them the product. These are all the posts live on Instagram account for this post for this page. And here you can see product being mapped. So AI has automatically mapped the product, fetching details directly from Shopify, mapping it with the caption mentioned in the post. And I can also go ahead and manually map the products. The product picker will pick the details directly, uh, the product directly from Shopify and make save the changes. So this is a one-time configuration that we do. And this is how backend kind of things work. So I'll take a pause here, guys, and would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, what do you think? And uh, maybe any thoughts, any question that you have for me? And any responses? Do you think this was thumbs up, thumbs down? Awesome. So guys, I can connect with you for a one-on-one -on -one session. Uh, since due to time limit, we covered a very brief one. We have 1000 GPT AI credits, uh, as well as free setup uh, that we want to uh, release as a launch offer for everyone who has joined here. So to avail this offer, what you can do, you can just book my Calendly. We can set up a one-on-one -on -one demonstration and take it forward from here. Uh, this will be free setup that will be done from our end as well as uh, you will be availing 1000 GPT credits along with it. So I have added my Calendly link. Feel free to book it, guys. Thank you, Ayush. Uh, Crystal, Lisa, Mary, any questions if you guys have, we are happy to answer them. And also we both have our Calendly's on the chat box. Feel free to book them. And one usp that as a company that we hold is we do personalized onboarding so we understand your brand there will be an ai expert who will take up your account do end-to-end -end onboarding until you go not just live but until you become successful after going live with us so that's the speciality just uh, just don't worry about the time consumption this tool would take for you to go live or there will be certain complexity for you to go live don't worry about all that we'll have that comfort zone built with you our team would be there to assist you and until you become successful we'll be there 
for you. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Crystal, uh, for that. And uh, thank you so much, guys. Uh, thank you for lending your time. It was great chatting with you all. And we look forward to having more conversation. Oh, Lisa asked, when will we get the recording of this meeting? Absolutely, Lisa. You'll shortly get an email from our marketing team with the recording of this meeting. And if you have any questions anytime, feel free to uh, shoot up on email or on our calendar. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day ahead. And happy Bye. weekend. Bye.